Important issues and strategies were raised and analyzed, such as easier decision-making process, timely release of funds for projects, cost management, scheme of service, recruitment, civil service performance, and modern technology, among others. The governor, who was accompanied by his wife and joined participants, to always embrace team spirit, shun selfishness, and remain committed in the task of moving the state forward, being mindful of the fact that the masses are there to judge them. He noted that the state has the capacity to internally generate about 4 billion to 7 billion naira monthly to match the federal allocation in the development process. Speaking on the essence of the workshop, the secretary to the state government, Professor Soluchukulebel, said that the workshop is aimed at looking back on the achievements of the present administration with a view to projecting the future for a more prosperous state. We are now entering the second half of the match, so to speak, and it is right that we take very in-depth stock of what has been achieved over the past two years, see where we have not done so well, and then look at what we need to accomplish for the remaining uh, second half. Giving a brief on the structure of the workshop, the chairman of the Governor's Economic Think Tank Committee, Mr. Mark Atasie, pointed out that issues like breakdown of 2016 budget, innovations and mindset shift, creative funding as well as economic outlook in the next one year will all be addressed, saying that as directed by the Governor, it is expected that about 20 doable actions will come out at the end of the workshop. What we want to do now is find out how well we've done so far. In his closing remarks, Governor Biano emphasized on the need to promote efficiency by civil servants and all participants for effective service delivery, pointing out that in line with the mantra of doing more with less, civil servants should sit up and do their jobs in a way that will save cost of governance. Governor Biano, who equally mentioned that staff of the month awards with rewards and sanction for indolence will be established and said that there will be increment of salaries across board if the IGRO increases to 2.2 billion naira as projected by his administration at inception and charged participants to do their best to help him deliver on his campaign promises. Uh, it's been uh, a very exciting two days, started by looking at the budget, the federal budget, with a view to knowing uh, how it will relate to the kinds of things that we're doing in our number and uh, where we can put uh, opportunity uh, pigeonholes to be able to follow through. Commenting on the outcome of the workshop, the Commissioner for Information and Communication Strategy, Obu Efi Tonin Nacheta, said that the retreat has made much impact as participants would go back better focused to do their job. It is an agenda-setting session. Uh, two years into Governor Julio Bernard's tenure, we have um, a blueprint I know we've gone some pathway there, but it's time now to go for the push so that uh, what we ask the electorate to expect will be the expectations ex exceedingly so. Speaking to the ABS, the principal secretary to the state government, Sawili Mwokoye, pointed out that with the end of the retreat, Ndenambra should expect a robust representation by the present administration. With the end of the 2016 Executive Council retreat, the state citizenry await a delivery of more dividends of good governance in the second phase of Governor William Bianos' administration. In Oka, Ejike Abana, ABS News.